Alrighty, so I'm a tactical spud and this is Atlas, our new stone brawler frame, our rock god, our face punching, wall rolling, freaky looking new warframe. Atlas can bend rock, petrify and bulldoze all in his way, but it looks like he skipped arm day in the gym. The dude's got huge hulking shoulders and a non-existing neck buried below piles of muscle, but his arms look like twigs in comparison. You should never skip arm day. Now, when I first seen Atlas on one of the dev streams, I honestly didn't like his looks, but having played him and been able to recolor him to my own design, I'm actually really happy with how he looks now. A different helmet might be nice because it looks like he's got no feckin' head, but apart from that, I think he's designed really, really well. Now, he is without a doubt a solo player's frame, bringing absolutely no squad buffs whatsoever, so I'm guessing a squad synergy built around him might be really hard to accomplish, because Atlas is a bit selfish and just wants to beat shit up and doesn't want to share it with the rest of the squad. So if you're looking to get Atlas, then of course you will need to complete the Jordis Precept questline to be giving his blueprints, which will then unlock the J3 Golem Archwing Assassinate mission, which will drop his other parts required to finish the build. Now my only real problem with the Jordas Precept questline was farming the Foliac Pods off of the Juggernauts on errors. It took me 20 plus runs to get what I needed and I guess I already had Atlas courtesy of Digital Extreme so I guess I can't really complain. But you guys could go and buy them for 275 Platinum either if you chose to go down that road. That is entirely up to you. Now stat wise the frame itself comes with 100 base health and shield, 150 energy, 450 armor which is really nice and it's only second behind Valkyr in terms of base amounts of armor. So he is a tanky enough frame and with a max steel fiber his armor can climb up to 945. He also has an amazing passive of being completely immune to knockdown effects once his feet are on the ground. If you're midair or jumping when an Eximus fire wave hits you or a knockdown effect hits you then expect to be sent flying. But once his feet are grounded, he won't be knocked back at all, which is awesome. Now his four abilities are, his first ability is called Landslide, which is very similar to Excalibur Slash Dash. Atlas will charge at enemies and punch them in the mouth. Each successful smack will build up a combo meter that you will see under your aiming reticle. This combo meter will increase your Landslide's outgoing damage. On your third strike of Landslide, Atlas will uppercut and send anything in front of him flying across the room. The ragdoll effects from Atlas are a lot of fun to watch, they really really are. Now his second ability is called Tectonics and this is where Atlas will build a wall in front of him, a very small barrier. Now build is probably the wrong choice of words because this fucker would be terrible at building your house. Be just some rubble with a few window holes for you to look out of. Recasting Tectonics will send the wall rolling towards enemies and it will roll over them and eventually deal the kind of radial damage once it explodes. It does a nice amount of damage, not a whole lot. I have seen it roll clean through enemies and only take the health down to half and you're still left having to deal with them after. But it is really nice, I guess, for hiding behind and using for cover because it can be used also to block doorways, creating effective choke points. And of course, it has a health bar that will decline with every bit of damage that the wall takes. I guess I just wish that if you had ranged mods on, the wall would be bigger. I think it would be a lot more useful, that ability, if you could build a larger or longer wall to kind of stay behind. Now, his third ability is called Petrify, which is a lot like Chroma's Scream, except it turns enemies to stone. So once Atlas casts it, all enemies inside a cone in front of him will begin to slow down and turn to stone. It works faster if Atlas is closer to his enemies, so they will turn to stone faster, which makes it a really good ability against Infested because they run towards you and they're not hiding behind cover like other enemy types are. Against enemies that actually shoot at you from range, I guess Petrify isn't as effective because you will be taking damage while you're casting it and if they're a little bit further away it will take them a lot longer to turn to stone and they may, might still get one or two shots off at you. Now Petrify can last well over 20 seconds depending on what kind of mod setup you have on your Atlas so enemies will stay stone for a while. Now his fourth and ultimate ability is called Rumblers, which kind of makes me think of two big huge fat guys just rolling all around the place squashing everything. I don't know why, maybe I've just got a bit of a demented mindset. Now Atlas will summon two rock golems to fight alongside him and they will proceed to beat the living shit out of anything that dares fire at them. These guys ragdoll enemies like crazy as well, so that's a lot of fun to watch. My golems at the minute last for about 40 seconds or a little bit over 40 seconds with my current build and during that time they get a lot of kills. You can also self-destruct the golems by recasting rumblers again and they will explode for a nice amount of radial damage to any enemies near them. 
Now to get the most out of your golems, you're going to want to mod them for power strength as it increases their size, their damage output, their health and range mods will also increase their speed but not by a whole lot. Power strength mods will also increase the radial damage from your rumblers once you self destruct them. So my atlas at the minute has three form on them and I've got two different builds. I've built them all around duration and damage with a small amount of efficiency mixed in as well. Now how you guys choose to mod your rock god is entirely up to you. So my first build is centered all around running solo missions as it's got a high survivability. Now it has got steel charge in the aura which I might change out, I don't know yet. Firewalker for utility, vitality, steel fiber, narrow minded 2 from the top, a max redirection and fleeting expertise, prime flow, prime continuity and blind rage, all 2 from the top as well. My second setup is nearly identical except I've dropped out the maxed redirection mod for a maxed intensify. But you could drop it out for a range mod I guess if you wanted to increase your petrify range or increase the speed of your golems or you could put efficiency mods in there or whatever you guys personally want. Like I said these are my own personal builds and I'm very happy with running with them like this. But anyway, for me personally, like I said, Atlas is very much a solo frame in my eyes. But he is a lot of fun to run around with and a lot of fun to punch people in the gob. Let me know what you guys think of Atlas in the comment section. What do you think of his ability set? What do you think of his looks or anything else? Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Warframe. And as always, thanks very much for watching.